New tonight, we're hearing from the new acting Hillsborough County Superintendent following the controversial ousting of Mary Ellen Ilya, Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn, even explaining the politics surrounding it as a version of the movie Mean Girls. Let's get straight out to our Alex Hobson live in Tampa with what his plans are for one of the nation's largest school districts. Alex? Well, tonight, right after this meeting here ended, Jeff Akins told us this district needs someone confident who can mend relationships, and he believes he's that guy. Obviously, it's, uh, it's uh, very humbling and honoring. I've, I've tonight, Jeff Akins on his thoughts being named the acting superintendent when current Hillsborough County Schools Superintendent Mary Ellen Elia exits to use her vacation time. I think the board spoke that they want uh, continuity. They want confidence uh, in the community. Uh, I believe I can do that. Akins, who's been with Hillsborough County Schools for the last 25 years, currently in the role of deputy superintendent, was appointed Tuesday night by Elia to take over from March 6th through June 30th. But tonight, the possibility of him staying on another year as interim superintendent was brought up, and we learned it's something Akins would be interested in. Telling our cameras his goal has always been to be a school district superintendent. I love Hillsborough County. I love this community, and that would be an honor. But that's not my decision at this point in time. It'll ultimately be up to the board, which former school board member Carolyn Bricklemeyer, who helped select the last two Hillsborough County superintendents, calls concerning. You have to work together as a board, and I'm very concerned about this board's ability to do that. But Aiken says he already has a plan. In order for the schools to be successful and the kids to be successful, you have to have leadership at the very top level that is, that is collaborative. And, and collegial, and that's going to be my goal to make sure we, we reinforce that moving forward. And this discussion is far from over. There will be a workshop next week, and the board could possibly vote on giving Akins a one-year interim superintendent contract at their next board meeting on the 17th. Reporting live in Tampa, I'm Alex Hobson, ABC Action News.